Hi, it's unusual for me to devote an entire video to just one DAX function, but in the case of the new offset function, that's exactly what we're going to do because it's very useful. We're going to start with an example to introduce a function. What we've got here on the screen is data from a sports league, football's English Premier League. And the challenge that we've got here is to work out the lead that one team has over the other. So Arsenal, top of the table with 40 points, has a uh, five-point lead over the next team, Man City, with 35 points. This has historically been a difficult problem to do in DAX, but the new offset makes it easier. So let's get started. Let me introduce the dataset and the Power BI file that I'm starting with. As mentioned, this is the data from the English Premier League. What I've done is I've gone to uh, this website here. It's the BBC Sports Football Table website. This is an HTML table, and I'm pointing Power BI directly at that table to import the data. If you want to follow along, you there's a link in the description. You can use that link to download this Power BI file launch Power BI Desktop and have a look at what I've done. The only other thing I've done is I've created a calculations table and I've created a measure called points, just the sum of my points column. That's not essential for the offset function, but in the end we'll be writing quite a few measures in the calculations table, so it's a nice to have. Our next step is to create a measure that calculates for each team the number of points in the team below. Let's call that points below what we're going to say is we're going to use calculate and our base measure is going to be our points measure and our filter argument the way that we're going to tweak or modify that is to use the offset function and the offset function takes uh, several arguments the first is um, the number of rows before or previous we're going to say one because we want to get the the a value from the the following row and then the relation is is our table that we're going to go forward or backward in and we're going to use the all selected function to create that table and we're going to use uh, a, a, the combination of team and position we need to use all selected because we need to remove any filter that's being applied by the the visual itself and finally what we have to say is how we want to order it to that to do that there is another a new order by helper function we're going to use that and we're going to say order by and that's going to be the EPL uh, position so we want to order it by position let's close our offset let's close our calculate and let's tick it off let's put that onto our visual and we can see that we're getting the correct numbers 35 is the points below Arsenal and so on that's the hard work done. Our final step is just to create a new measure, points lead, that simply subtracts the points below from the points. So let's create that measure. Let's call it points lead. And it's simply the points less the points below. Add it to the visual and we can see we've got the right points. Arsenal is five points ahead of Man City and so on. Our only small problem is that Southampton bottom of the table is giving us a points below of 12 um, because there is a points lead of 12. They're not quite right. We'd really like that to be null because the points below is null. So let's just add an if statement to do that. Okay, let's add that if statement. What we're going to say is if and we can simply say if not is blank that will test for when the points below is not blank then we're just going to return the point otherwise it won't return anything so let's just modify that points lead measure and hopefully our 12 here will disappear that's fantastic this has been an introduction to the DAX offset function in future weeks we're going to create some new videos taking it further looking at uh, more challenging use cases for example we've uh, extended our data set here to 
add some kind of fictitious regions to each of the teams and then groups within the regions worked out the points leads within the regions we'll also be looking at a couple of uh, other data sets here we've got a, a data set of share prices from a couple of financial companies Investec and MNG and what we're doing is we're calculating the change in close price from one day to the next that's not possible with time intelligence functions because as you can see from the data we've got breaks in the data no trading at weekends or on bank holidays finally we're going to look at a different data set a fictitious data set looking at kind of an applications process this fictitious data we're looking at students applying through various stages of getting to university application interview offer accept and what we'll do is use the tax offset to work out the uh, the pass rate for each stage in that process so I hope to see you on those videos if you have enjoyed these videos please do like and subscribe and I look forward to seeing you on future videos thank you for watching